Hi everyone. The lesson is class and object part 3 methods in objective C. We'll be using Xcode version 11.6 and Apple developer docs and API for referencing. You need to look at the previous lesson in this series which is class and objects part 2 declaring a class and object before this lesson. You will be learning about declaring methods and calling methods and as usual it's practical demonstrations. So let's start Xcode. Let's create a project, create a new project. Make sure it's not iOS single view, just for this you make sure it's macOS command line tool selected. Click next. Let's say it's example one, make sure the language selected is objective C and click next and then uh, make sure you select the right location. Okay, and say create. The location can be any, anywhere you like. So we got a project. So we, uh, going forward from the previous lesson, now you all know how to create a class. So in the previous lesson, you did right click, new file, and co uh, Cocoa class, click next. And basically, we had the hello, hello class in the previous lesson, right? So let's uh, do that again hello class create and then from the previous lesson you realized uh, that inside the interface you can declare properties right so we want a message so we are declaring a, a ns string pointer to store a message we got the property then again from the previous lesson you understood for a property you don't have to do anything in the implementation you just go to the main method and you will be uh, creating a object. So you remember in the previous lesson to create an object, first of all, you have to import the header file of the class. So hello class is in the hello class.h header file. So you have to import uh, the header file, right? So you will say hello class.h. Then you will come and declare the object. So the class is hello class. So you declare a pointer and then you have to call the alloc method uh, to allocate memory. So you have to call, you have to call, you have to pass the message alloc into the hello class. Now you can see it says M here means it's a method or a message. <laughs> Both are the same. So you got <coughs> the alloc, right? Alloc method. <coughs> Okay, so once you create the alloc method, you know you have to instantiate the object with the init method on the return value of the alloc. So on the return value of the alloc, you will call the init method, right? So it returns an instance type. Inst so when you call init, it returns an instance type. Instance type means it's an object. So that is why you store, when you call init, you store it in an instance type h1, meaning instance type means it's an instance of a class. Okay, and then from a uh, previous lesson, you realized that you can uh, store data, you can assign data into the property, right? Let's say hello message, right? But also, you know, you have to put at symbol, otherwise, you will be getting a error. And then in the previous lesson, we, we just uh, output the message like this, right? Now in this lesson, we will be moving forward from, from this, right? So now you can run this straight away. Okay, once again, you have to put at symbol every time you use a uh, NS string or string literal, right? Awesome. So now it should work and it should give you the output uh, at the bottom. See, it says message is hello. Awesome. Now we are done with that. Now let's move into methods, right? Declaring methods. So if you look at the developer docs, you can see it says in C language, a function declaration looks like this. If you remember C language, it's you just put the return type and the function name and the brackets, right? But in objective C, you, how you declare the same function is like this. You have to put a minus or a plus in front. When you put a minus or a hyphen, it means the method is that it's an instance method which can be called on any of the inst or any instance of that means it's when you put minus it means it's an instance method meaning you can call this method uh, using an object of that class 
There's another way uh, where, where you put a plus. Then you call them as class methods. So to call class methods, you don't need to create an object. So when you put a plus, it's a class method. And if you are familiar with Java, it's like a static method in Java, right? We'll be doing that more in more detail uh, later in a separate lesson. But for now, I just want a simple method. So this is how you declare a simple method. So I will copy this and just take it into the project. So where do you declare the method? It's in the interface file. So in the interface file, after the properties, you will declare your methods. So minus means it's, it says it's an instance method. The other option is to put a plus, but don't put a plus in this. Just put minus. Later, we will do that. Then you put the return type within brackets. So void meaning it's not returning any value and some method. Let's say the method, let's call it as say hello, right? I'm just giving an example, right? Say hello, right? So the method is say hello. Now you don't put brackets like in uh, uh, in C language, you don't put brackets like this. <clears throat> when you declare, you just uh, make sure you put the return type, right? See, if you put brackets, you are getting error. You can't put brackets. It's not part of that objective C syntax. Okay, now you got the method signature. Now next thing is you will copy this from here and you will go into the implementation and you have to implement that method. So you paste it, then you remove the semicolon and you put the method body in within curly brackets. So this is the method implementation. So in this, let's say, let's put a ns, ns log message, right? Let's say, let's put ns log and let's say uh, message equals to, okay, let's say comma. Now let's say you want to refer to the uh, property to output right let's say you want to refer to the property so that because you know that from outside you will be storing data into the property so so let's say when I say hello I want to output the value of the property so you know your property name is message right so let's start typing that here let's say message and the moment you start typing it you will see it doesn't give message but it gives you underscore message now, what is this? Uh, what is this business about underscore message? <clears throat> we'll talk that in detail uh, later. We'll be discussing it in more detail, right? Now, when we talk about properties. But for now, when you say message, you will get underscore. So, actually speaking, it it's an instance variable. But it's too early to talk about that because so far, I have not discussed about instance variables. I have a property. But for your understanding, when you declare a property, for the property, there will be a, automatically, there will be an instance variable generated. <clears throat> and the instance variable name starts with underscore. If your property is message, it will be underscore message. If your property is x, then it will be the instance variable, variable will be underscore x. So anyhow, when you are printing, uh, because this is an instance method, it, it will be accessing the instance variable really, uh, match corresponding or matching to the property so that's how you do it uh, and then let's put at uh, the say at the format modifier right for it to print and then you have to put the at symbol over here so we'll be discussing more about properties <coughs> and uh, instance variables in another lesson after this <coughs> okay so we got the method now the next step is after declaring the method how to call the method so to call the method what you do is now you don't have to print it like this you can if you want but if you want to call the method let's call the method uh, before and after so immediately after creating the object let's call the method right so to call a method as we have said couple of times now it's it's you have to pass the message or call the method meaning message passing so then to pass a message, you have to call a method. As you know, you have to put square brackets. Then inside square brackets, you will put your object, let's say h1. And then you will put the uh, your method, let's say, say hello. So your method, you declare the method as say hello, right? So now you will be calling it. So it's message. Pass. You are, so what this means is you are passing the message, say hello, into the instance h1 and then it will trigger the method so you don't put a brackets or anything like that so let's call it before you assign data to the property and after you assign so 
over here it should print an empty hello message over here it should print it as hello okay let's run this now okay I, I am running it so let's see how the outcome as you can see in the first uh, say hello see what what do we do in the say hello we print a message right so we'll say message equals to the message so as you can see in the first say hello the message is empty null remember null means empty there's nothing and then after you assign data see you you, you call say hello again then it prints the message so this is how you uh, this lesson showed you how to declare a method. So when you declare a method, you first declare the signature inside the interface. Then you go and give the implementation. And from the implementation, if you are referring to a property, you will be uh, automatically referring to the corresponding instance variable, which is automatically generated uh, relevant to the property, which has an underscore in front of the property name, right? Awesome. And then you can uh, call the method. It's when you call the method, it's message passing. So you, you put square brackets and call it so this successfully showed you how to declare a method and call a method so we finished the practical demonstration and you learn about declaring methods and calling methods and uh, we use apple developer docs for referencing have a look at our other videos for practicals on objective z and we are very excited to see you in the next lesson so let's see you in the next lesson